Hi, it's Gloria with Cheap Yummy Shiny, and I wanted to show you uh, this new concealer that I got for work. I should have pulled everything out first, but I didn't. Um, while I'm pulling everything out, let me go ahead and um, tell you about it. So, this is the Lorac Perfection Concealer. Um, I really like it. I was going to get a different one. They were out of my shade, lucky me, and the lady at Ulta recommended this. Uh, so far, I really like it. So I'm going to use my um, Camouflage Oval 10. And I've already primed my face with my Milibera, uh, Mirabella Prime for Face. So I wanted to point out um, the coverage. This is, I did get it a little lighter than I normally would, but it actually is about the right shade. It is a bit yellow because I have an orange, more yellow gold tone to my skin rather than pink or neutral or ash. Uh, and my skin's a little dry. I probably should have moisturized a bit more this morning, but I was running. I was in a hurry. Um, anyway, so I went ahead and patted everything in and you'll notice it actually covers up really nicely. I'm also using it as a bit of a highlighter here as well uh, because when I'm working I try to avoid too much shimmer um, because it just makes me look like I'm oily under studio lights which is something you have to remember if you ever have to do makeup for um, television. Just avoid any sort of shimmer for the most part. You can maybe your lips or something but you know if you're gonna highlight try to use like a matte. Uh, like I'll use a matte um, um, eyeshadow. So anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put on that layer of powder that I put on underneath my foundation. Put on my foundation, which is not going to be my usual foundation. I'm actually uh, doing my backup, um, and I'll show you my backup in a second. You're going to laugh. So my backup's a little bit of a mix-up. Um, this is a trick I learned from, and I think I've used this before in other videos, it's a trick that I learned from a makeup artist. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Under Eye Concealer. Um, this is in medium, which is a little light for me. Their medium is actually quite pale uh, because it's supposed to be a concealer. And so what I do, I know it's weird, but it gives really good coverage and it has a decent finish. Uh, I rip off the little, it comes with a little sponge to apply. I rip it off since I don't use it as a concealer. In order to darken it up a little bit, I have a little bit left. I'm basically out of my airbrush makeup. Um, I'll take my darker Temptu uh, Airbrush SB in uh, Toffee, which is six. And I'll add that to my, my uh, Maybelline. Just a drop, assuming I can get a drop out. Okay, maybe two drops. 
or maybe a lot. Uh oh. That's a little more than I expected. I just made a mess. As long as I didn't get it on my blouse. <laughs> that was just graceful, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm going to use my Vasanti. Uh, makeup brush, foundation brush, and I'm going to mix it all together. I'm breaking out the new one. I always keep back up. Up comes the sponge. And I'm making a mess already. And I just want to point out that when I do um, makeup with a brush, I will, uh, to fill in my pores, do this circle in one, circle in the other, circle in one, circle in the other. And what it does is it fills in the pores a little bit because I do have some larger pores like a lot of people right here. And then once I powder it, it really, I won't say makes me completely invisible, but on camera, totally. Then what I do is I take a little bit more of just the lighter, which is in this case the Maybelline, and I will pat on top of any trouble spots. Now, I will admit that sometimes when I'm doing my makeup for work, it can be a tiny bit cakey in person. Um, minimally cakey, but maybe like, you know, in really bright daylight, it looks like I have a lot of makeup, but really I kind of need to. Um, we one of some of our studios have uh, almost like LED lights, and they're very hard on the skin. Um, they are not going to make you look your best. So what I do is, I know I have some redness on my cheeks. I'll pat it up. I also want to point out I had a little burn from my curling iron. No, my brush, because it's a ceramic brush and I was drying my hair. Right here. Covered it right up. Pat, 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 pat. Pat and smooth on my eyes. So while I'm letting this set before I powder it, since I really do have a limited time to do everything, I'll go ahead and put my eyeshadow primer on. Oh, I grabbed a little too much. Oh, and this is the Mica Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer. And because you don't want to stretch out your eye, uh, eyelid skin and, or the skin underneath your eye, it's hard for it to ever bounce back. Let's just avoid the surgery later in life if we can. I try to pat or lightly brush 
what I put on, but this is a little thicker, this eye primer, and so I really need to pat it on, because otherwise I'll be like... <laughs> creating baggy eye skin. And I already have hooded eyes. I've had hooded eyes since I was young. The last thing I need is to create baggy hooded eyes. That will not be attractive. Avoid the bags, unless it's got an Hermé or Louis Vuitton on it. Okay. Now, foundation, i.e. mostly concealer, set. I take it, I start by patting some powder on. That's just my foundation. I have uh, no real contouring. I highlighted the tiniest bit on my nose and up here just to cover up a little redness and to highlight, uh, help me with the highlighting. But this is what it looks like. I like this concealer. I, you know, I probably could have used a little more here, but what I'll probably do is just take some um, almost white pink eyeshadow and put it here and it'll just make it pop a little bit more because I don't get a lot of sleep. I probably had too much salt yesterday maybe a little bit puffy, but also I have the tear trough deformity, and you'll notice I do try to, they call it, I don't think it's deformity, that's just what it's called, this line here, um, and so what I try to do is I try to fill it in by lightening it and making it bring forward, and so at least face on without overhead lighting, it will actually, I won't say disappear, but it really will min minimize it. So anyway, that's my review for the most part of the Lorac Porefection Concealer. Uh, it does actually uh, fill in pores a bit. I do like this. I use it on an eye. I used it on any red spots. And um, it has a really nice finish. It's very concentrated. And if it's anything like the Makeup Forever, it will last me forever. So if you're looking for a good full coverage concealer that has a really nice finish to it that isn't shiny, it isn't too heavy, it isn't greasy, Lorac Perfection Concealer. I like this stuff. I recommend it. And uh, I don't know if it's my holy grail, but it might become that the more I use it. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and enjoy the weather. Crisp fall, apple, cider, coffee.